What's your dream? <laughs> to make people understand love. Yeah, understand love. Yeah. How do they not understand love now? Because people love with expectation. Oh yeah. You want the Instead answer? of anticipation. Okay, I'm struggling so, with the English now. So Explain people, that to people, us. people love only people that think that they're gonna get something in return. Yeah. Okay. When you love, it's not When you love people to think they will inspire you better than themselves. Yeah, yeah. That is the difference between loving with expectation and loving with. Yeah, yeah. Anticipation. How do we change that? Like, I want to change that too. By raising proper people. Yeah. Raising children being there for the youth. Yeah. It's hard to raise someone that's been jaded. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest thing in the world. And most parents have and been jaded too. That's why most huh? people believe in religion because of that exact thing that someone can go to the polar opposite of what they were taught their whole lives but to go against the grain. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, most of it's all marketed for now. Yeah. People, you only want to change you the world beer, because they think they can make money off of it. You just want to do stuff <laughs> so that they can so make their families better. Yeah. You don't see any person that with a successful foundation with a family that's like struggling or a family that is in need because um, they've given their whole lives to other people. Because that's what it comes down to. When you give your whole life to something, yeah. then something else lacks. And any successful yeah. person in history has had a poor either family or social life because yeah. they were so enveloped in their dream and their like, idea to develop. Yeah, yeah. So there yeah, has to be You have to sacrifice no matter what you do. You have to sacrifice. So what do you do? There's not a good balance. There's never tomorrow, only yeah. yesterday's. Yeah. What do you do, man? Uh, I, I've reformed snowboard instructor. Reformed? Well, I recently just quit because it's turning into something that is a financial, like, order to... Yeah, you want like, snowboarding to only, be a passion, only, not your... Only financially stable people can learn how to snowboard. Mm. Compared to when I learned how to snowboard, it was cheap and accessible. Yeah, yeah. So, so you kind of don't like to just hang out with those people? Or? No, I just, I want to go and, like, spread the love and, and like, the stuff. Awesome. Hey, you should have one of these. What is this? This is my empowerment project. This is like the smallest I'm not saying... business card I've ever seen. In my I know. Life. I do like. I do have a big. <laughs> this will go in my business yeah. card collection. But what are the odds of you still finding that tomorrow? Oh, a lot. Yeah. Right? Right? You have a wallet or something. Unlike a lot of Americans, I don't keep track of this. <laughs> like, <laughs> the thing with that is like I made like I make websites like that for homeless people as well. So then out of A4 they can get like 37 of those and then they can give it to people. And then if people go in and donate they will get So cash. you're doing it? Uh, you're, yeah, you're yeah. You're spreading it? Yeah. What, are you making money off of that? No, but, but to I mean, be honest, yet, to one be day you might. Yeah, you know, like... And it's in the I back don't... of your mind. I'm not saying, like, you're a shitty person for thinking. No, no, well, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd love to talk about this. Like, the thing is, like, so I could, I could, if I just wanted money, like, I was building skate parks, I didn't do that for money. But eventually, like, I did it for four years for free, but then eventually I made a lot of money. But, but then, the thing is, I, if I just want to make money, I, I just keep making skate parks. Yeah, but, and you make but, money. But I don't want to do that, that because the return of that, that yeah. you just make money. Yeah, but the same for the same reason, like you, like. But what I, do you live your life for? What? What, so what do you live your life for? So I want to count how many, no, how many not, not people what I can you want to do. Yeah. All right. But what do you live your life for? You live love, your life I think. for love inner and connections, either lost when you were raised as a family, yeah. or that you want to extend because you were raised in a good family. You want connections with other people. I don't have kids because I'd rather connect. help people. I'm not talking about your kids. children. I'm talking about connecting with people yeah. that are like you. Uh, Maybe not look like you, not walk like you, mm -hmm. but are like you. That are into what you are into. You want to connect. So with yeah, I would love to. And you're willing but it's hard. to spend your own money on doing it. Yeah, I am. Most people only want to make money eventually off of it. Yeah, yeah. And do you know what, what a good reason would be to make money out of it, Bob? Like, because like, if people think that you ha it's okay to make money by Coca-Cola or by Adidas, and they don't think it's okay to make money by helping people, then the majority of the world are not going to work with empowerment. Because the
majority of the world wants money. So if I could ever set an example to show that this is how many people I've helped and this is like how much money I made, then I, I would probably try to get over that shame of doing that because that could inspire more people like Tony Robbins or Les Brown or like Oprah Winfrey. Like they make a lot of money but they also influence and help a lot of people. So I think, I think it's cool. I mean, it's kind of what the world needs too. People realize you don't have to choose others or yourself. You can choose both of you, you know? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a hard one to say. <laughs> Yeah, I think there will always be both. There will always be those sacrificing themselves. And, but I know, like, sometimes when I sacrifice myself for a long period, I just get bitter and I feel like the world owes me something. Yeah, all work and, and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. So, you, so, so you were born, like, raised in Sweden? Um, they have, like, a crazy yeah. high educational rate and unemployment. Like, we have I mean, a lot of unemployed like people. Small, like I, mean, I don't. Even your penal system is a lot different. Like, you send people out. Like, What's the penal people? system? Is that like jail? Uh, yeah. Punishment for crime? That is kind of like I think the system is fucked up Sweden all over is the one world. Of those countries that like send you out to a farm and make you work, kind of deal, right? You know, like, or you actually go to jail. I don't know, I haven't been myself. Like, I, think, I mean, out here you go to jail and you get raped in your butthole sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Would that happen in Sweden? I think right? it's more common to get beaten up than raped in that. Right. But so, it's, I've, so there is a difference. <laughs> yeah. would, Surface modeling, this is not funny, I know that. Oh. <laughs> put it in. Sorry, I'm a random person, he doesn't know me, I have no affiliation with him, it's cool, whatever I say is all on Christopher Bowers from California, if you have a problem, call me, 714-353-0997, hit me up if I piss you off. <laughs> so Chris, are you also, uh, is it okay if I call you Chris? Yeah, it's fine, you are can you, call me whatever you want. Are you also, are you also gonna live in our buddy's bus here? Oh no, I, he actually inspired me to buy a bus. Yeah, yeah. I think the American way is to be like mobile. Yeah, that's it. This it's country dream. wasn't established for you to be set down with steps, yeah. orders. Yeah.